Hey friends. I am grabbing a moment in my mom's sewing room, which you might be able to identify by seeing the shelving behind me as a sewing room. Um, on Christmas Day, in the midst of a bunch of family activity, food, going for walks outside, a lovely, lovely day. And as you can also see by the sun shining on my face, it's one of these perfect Santa Fe snow plus sun kind of miraculous days. And I, um, I've been thinking about something, you know, it's amazing to me sometimes over the holidays, because there's a certain, it, assuming that we spend the holidays with our, with our family and sort of our extended family, including parents, siblings, and kids, which is the case in, in uh, my case this year, we have, happen to have all my siblings in town. My parents are here. Even my wife's parents came up and her brother came up. Not everybody from her side of the family, but a good showing. And that family bubble is one that it, it kind of blows my mind every time it happens because it seems so weird that it works this way. And yet, I would guess that this is how it works for most people. This is not a unique experience I'm having, which is that the family bubble is one that once I enter it, and there's always kind of like a moment when it's like, okay, we've kicked off. Like it's not the first minute when the first people arrive. It's like when maybe the first hour of when everybody gets together for the first time or something there's a moment where it's like lift off okay the group the dynamic is back the group is back and from the time that that starts it almost feels like it never stopped it almost feels like it's been going the whole time, like the months and months of time in between the last time this happened and now are like this blip. And this is like reality is back. This world is back. It's such a power. I think, you know, this is just the nature of family patterns. When they kick in, when they sort of like, when we enter an environment where they are, active and kind of defining the space it they feel almost eternal they feel like they've just been that way forever because and, and in some ways you know it's like you're going back to family patterns family dynamics that have been around many of which have been around since like our birth or the birth of a sibling or the time the moment 20 years ago when a sibling met their partner you know there's so many ways in which these 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 patterns have, are they're steeped it's like they're a tea that has been steeping all this time and they just have an a, 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 an element of almost timelessness to them i think it's actually kind of important to realize that they're not timeless they're just deep patterns there's nothing eternal about them and of course that realization is also the realization that gives us some agency within that context to say because right because i mean some of these patterns are going to be very warm and cuddly and fuzzy and happy and other ones are going to be maybe not so great you know everybody's got stories about the holidays and what it means to be in that family environment you know i mean the cliche is that it's like torture but that's not the case in my family thank god um but i think it's also probably not the case in most people's families it's just that there are elements that might not be so comfortable or, or particular kinds of patterns that were like oh i've been trying to 
shake this since childhood. And the only time I have to experience it now is when I'm in I'm on a family holiday. But when I'm in that family holiday, it's like 10 minutes of it is too much. 10 minutes of it is like, oh my God, I just need, I need, I need some space. I just had six months of space, but I need another bit of space <laughs> because not because we've actually been subjected to this for so long that it has had time to wear us down. It's just that we actually do kind of enter a parallel universe, a parallel timeline, where if like normal life is happening up here, we dip down or dip up, however you want to think of it, dip down into that family pattern. And what all the period that goes, in, goes on in between before we dip down again, might as well not exist. Like these two blips are like one timeline that's just going. So the last time we were in one of these little blips, the same thing was happening and it feels like it's been happening the whole time. And on one level, I'm just noting that because, not because I'm experiencing any particular discomfort, but because I think it's interesting that, that, that interesting that we experience that illusion. It's fascinating on some level that our mind can do that, can sort of hop timelines and be in an environment that we haven't been in for quite some time and go right back to where we were last time we were there. Um, it's also important to kind of recognize that we do have some agency over this. It's not just, um, it hasn't been happening the whole time. The patterns are not eternal. And, and even, and nor is our own behavior within the environment eternal. It's all, we can choose it anew every single second. And that is cause for celebration. I think that's in some ways, it's not something that I, that I think is commonly part of of like family holidays, family Christmases, family whatever events, that we would celebrate our ability to evolve our own family's deep patterns. I think that's super cool. That, I mean, if anything sort of justifies a holiday get together, how about that? How about the ability to be in the most the environment where we are most likely to to revert to deep patterns that are you know sometimes entrenched because they've been this way since birth or whatever and experience them with some objectivity some some freshness some some having kind of taken a rest from them during our time away but being willing to come back again and again and again and again and again and move actually move 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 us move ourselves forward psychologically emotionally and ideally you know we would make space for everyone in the in the family or in the group in the unit to to, to experience that movement as well um, it's a tricky thing because in some ways what forms the cohesiveness, the glue that holds us together is these patterns, right? That's, that's what, that's the family glue. But at the same time, we're kind of saying we want to celebrate the family glue and at the same time also unstick some shit that needs to get unstuck because it's making this person crazy or doesn't work it's not healthy in this way or whatever um and i think that's a, a very like worthwhile challenge i think it's it's a very I certainly and i can really only speak obviously from my own experience of my family but i think it's such a valuable opportunity because what if our deepest patterns, what if our most entrenched shit is actually where our most 
significant evolution can take place. What if when we get away from that and we're just living our lives without being immersed in that environment, we're actually still inhibited by those patterns. We just don't know it because they're not being activated and sort of made obvious, made conscious to us because of the interaction with our sibling, with our parents, whatever, whatever it is that triggers it. What if they're still there though? And we're just kind of not necessarily making that much movement on them because we're not thinking about them in that way. We're, we're just sort of like, we think that we're free of them, but we're not. Whereas when we come back into the environment, it's like, oh no, we're not free of them. What is this? <laughs> and I do think it takes a fair amount of, um, you know, it, it both takes a fair amount of individual willingness to, to approach the family dynamic this way. In other words, acknowledge it, experience it, but hold it gently and also hold an intention to let it change in healthy ways. And at the same time, be willing to keep coming back to it. Just keep be willing to keep showing up in it, not avoid it, because the, 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 the response to, to the discomfort of it is oftentimes to just get away, right? I'll take it as long as I can, then I'm just going to leave. Um, and I think one of the things I feel so grateful for is that I have a family where I really do feel like people are willing to show up and dive into the vortex of all this and and hold a really kind of intentional space around it be in be in our individual place be in our collective place and and let let things move as they need to let things shift let some things be the same but but have a have a relationship to it not have a conscious relationship to it that's i think the kind of point of what i'm saying have a conscious relationship to it as opposed to an unconscious being either totally driven by it where it's just we're now we're off, now we're like robots running the pattern until we again kind of unconsciously get tired of it get frustrated with it get sick of it and have to absent ourselves again you know the alternative to that is to sit with it hold it be in it let it move let it be uncomfortable but but not just in a kind of like, I have an aversion to that kind of way, in a kind of like, what's actually going on here? What, what, what is this? Where is this discomfort really coming from? What's really in me? What's being triggered? And then let that move. Well, now we've got a lever we can move that actually creates evolution in our life in a huge way. Not just over the holidays, but also every other time of year. So I think I'm, I'm, this is coming up because I'm, I'm so grateful. I really do. I have to say, I feel like I have a family that does this, wants to do this, is for whatever reason, just okay with it, willing, game, up for, up to play. And that's pretty remarkable. That's pretty awesome. That literally everybody is, is willing to show up that way individually and to play that role as individuals and as a group. That's maybe the, maybe the, maybe the, maybe the greatest gift that I receive anytime this type of event rolls around. That's where I am today, folks. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Merry Christmas. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.